What's up guys, this is Sin Fatal from Cynix TV and today I'm going to be showing you guys a whole bunch of cool Halloween games that you could do with probably things that you have sitting around your house like construction paper, candy for one and uh, little pumpkins. These cool games are going to be cool in case you're hosting a party or you got friends coming over. They're going to be impressed by this and you can even make it with them and have fun with it and then play afterwards. So stick around and enjoy guys, let's get started. So for this first one, we have a game that I call Candy Corn Pong. To set it up, all you need is some candy corn, you need some pumpkins that I have here on my left. You can pick these up at the dollar store, Walmart, they're really cheap. And uh, black construction paper. I chose to put candy in and I'm going to tell you why in a second. But all you want to do is you put your black construction paper at the center of a table. And then I put candy corn in the shape of a candy corn for decoration purposes only. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I think it looks cool. And then so basically all you do is you take your little jack-o'-lanterns and you want to put them in a 3-2-1 position, just like I'm doing here. And once you've done that, it creates this cool little jack-o'-lantern pong. And so once you set this up, guys, your little plastic jack-o'-lanterns, you want to uh, get your, your candy and I chose Skittles for this. You can choose whatever little candy you want. And then you want to just start pouring it in them like that. So once you guys have filled in your little jack-o'-lanterns full of candy, that's when the fun is really going to start because that's when each player gets their little pieces of candy corn, just like I have here. And you want to choose the distance from where you're going to shoot these little candy corns in the little jack-o'-lanterns. And the point of this game, well, I think it's a cool point. You can make up your own rules, but I think this is a cool one. That once you've filled your little jack o lanterns with Skittles or any kind of little candy you want, I say that when you shoot it and you make it, they get to keep uh, that little jack o lantern full of candy. So it's a cool little prize for actually making it because these are little, little jack o lanterns, so it's kind of hard to make it. So I'll give you guys an example of how you, I'll shoot from right here. And I'll give you guys an example of what it's gonna look like once you guys start playing this game. So here I go, I'm gonna shoot this one. I missed horribly. I'm gonna go again, second try. <laughs> As you guys can see, it's kind of hard to do. So you guys could actually get maybe a little bit closer. I was going easy on this game, but I'm, I'm about to turn it up. Okay, yeah. I'm not that good at candy corn pong, but you guys, you guys will probably have a lot of fun with this. It makes it hard, so it makes it challenging for everybody to win. But you guys will have a lot of fun playing it. That one was close. Closer. Dang. There you go. I got one. So it took me seven tries to get one little pumpkin. So I guess I win this one. Good stuff. For this next one, this one is going to be called Jack-O-Lantern Bowling. And all you need for this one is a black Sharpie, a red Sharpie, a little Jack-O-Lantern that you can get from Walmart. They come in the six packs. I got a whole bunch of these. They're really cool. And um, six rolls of toilet paper. To begin this one, all I did was take a black marker and I drew the face of this Jack-O-Lantern in. This is going to be your bowling ball. And then you want to take one of these rolls and uh, I chose red because it stands out a lot and it's an easy target too and you want to draw a face of a ghost or or any you could draw any uh, Halloween characters that you choose but that's easiest for you I think this is one of the easiest ones so I, that's what I chose especially since you got to do six of them and as far as the toilet paper I know it's, it seems like a big waste of toilet paper which I don't know about you but my mom's gonna kill me if she found out I used six of these um, but these are actually a dollar so there you go so there's the last one. And then you just want to stack them on top of each other, just like that. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how to play it. So let's do that now. I've set up the toilet paper just uh, like I told you guys. It goes three, two, one, like a pyramid almost. So let's go for gold. You're going to do me good. All right, so here we go, guys. Dang, I missed big time on that one. So here goes round two on it. Hopefully this time I'll get it. 
boom. So there you go, guys. That's how you do it. And obviously, I didn't knock them all down, so it's not a strike. Boom. I got two down, but I left one. So, but you guys will have a lot of fun with this, and it's a really cool game to play. Just don't let your mom see all the toilet paper you use. For this next one, we're gonna make a game that's called Witch Hat Ring Toss. And all you need for this game is two pieces of construction paper and some styrofoam plates like this that you can get at the dollar store and some tape. So what I'm gonna do for you guys first is show you how to make the witch's top hat, which is you just take the black construction paper and fold it inwards like this and make it spin. Then you wanna take some tape and just take that. Then the next thing to do is you wanna take your scissors and level it out so, it's, so it lays flat. And so if you have black tape at your house, I recommend you use this one because it's better, it's stronger, and it blends in with the hat. So now you got your actual top hat of the witch. And then the next thing you wanna do, or you don't have to do, but if you want it to stand out a little bit more, then that's what this is for. It goes around the bottom of the witch's hat. I'm just gonna wrap it around it, just like this. And then you just tape it, or you can staple it, just like that. And then maybe you wanna put a little design on it, like a little buckle. And then you just probably want to go down like this. So once you guys have finished your your witch hat, then you want to take your black styrofoam board, just like the one I have here. You want to take a pencil, and with the pencil's eraser, you just want to go around the bottom like this, make a circle, and that'll be like the witch's uh, front of the witch's hat. Once you got your your hat in place, and you want it right center of the paper, you want to take some tape. And you want to tape it on there just like that. So I got my three witches hat in place now. So the game board itself is ready. So the next thing to do is we need the ring. So for this, what I used is some white styrofoam plates from uh, the dollar store. Uh, they sell them at Walmart too. You might have them in your cabinets and you don't even know because that's where I found mine. And I used six of them. And what I do is I, I put super glue on the insides of each one and I start gluing them together just like that. So then once they're all together, then I'll take a, a pair of scissors and I'll cut around the inside of it to make to just keep the ring part of it. To make it sturdier, then I'll add tape around that edge and I'll show you what it looks like right now. So I've already done it on this one, guys. I took scissors, I cut the inside out first and that left me with the white ring and then I put tape just so it could stay in place, make it a lot more stronger, I guess, of a ring. So for this game, the point of this game would be to make your ring into the witch's hat, and the first player to make the ring into all three hats would win the game. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys how to, to make it. Boom, so there you go guys, I made it this time. So there's your witch hat ring toss, which is easily made at home, and you'll have a lot of fun doing it, just like I did. So this next one here is gonna be called the spider hole game. And all you need for this one is just a, a black styrofoam foam board, just like the one I have here. An X-Acto knife, if you do have one. If you don't, you could use scissors or uh, a knife just with parental supervision. A red marker and a little sack like this filled with rice and tied with a little rope. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna just lay your, your foam board flat. You wanna take uh, something that has a circular bottom, just like this little bucket here, and you wanna place it on the top of your styrofoam board, just like that. And the next thing you wanna do is outline the circle. Make sure you go all the way around. So now I have my circle. Then the next thing I wanna do is take an X-Acto knife and just cut into it to get that circle out. So I'm almost done with this circle here. And then you just wanna take it and pop it out, just like that. So there's your hole. Now the next thing you guys wanna do is you wanna take some white styrofoam board, just like I have here, and you wanna cut the shape of a rectangle for the, for the t back the top part, just like here. And you want to cut you want to cut these shapes like this going going downward to make the ramp effect just like you see here and you do the other one you cut the other one exactly the same 
and you put it on the other side just like that. What I'm gonna do to hold these in place is I'm just gonna put some black tape on them or you can use clear tape, super glue, uh, hot glue, whatever you wanna use. Once you guys have finished taping your product, this is what it should look like, guys. Again, you wanna cut these shapes uh, from the downward all the way up like this so it could hold your foam board and the rectangle on the back just like that, the same level as, as the sides. And then for the bottom, what I did was took a little piece of foam and I just taped that onto the, my, right next to the hole actually, it's just for support. So when your little hacky sack hits, it won't break your actual product. So this is for support. This is your spider, this is your spider hole game. It's pretty cool. And uh, so I'll demonstrate to you guys how this game will work. So basically once, you, once you're finished with your product, uh, you want to take your little hacky sack and you want to get a little distance and challenge your opponents to who can make the spider in the hole first. I'm not the best at this game, but I will attempt to make it. I got pretty good aim. Here I go. Boom! So, hole in one, guys. There you go. Last but not least, guys, we have a game called Basketball, and in our version, it's going to be called Jack-O-Lantern pumpkin ball and all you need for this guys is some white styrofoam jack-o-lantern bucket like the one I have here for candy and a little ball uh, so you can use as your basketball you want to take a, a white piece of cardboard and you want to take a black marker and just paint a square as a backboard of a basketball as I did here just make another little square in there you want to tie a little piece of rope on on each end like this I punctured a little hole in there I put a little piece of rope in there tied it put another one here tied it and then this is gonna be my backboard that I'm gonna hang on my wall, just like that. And I'll do that in a second for you so you can see. For actual rim, I'm gonna use this little jack-o'-lantern basket. All you guys wanna do, basically, is take this little ball. You wanna get a ball that actually fits your little basket. So in this case, I had to make a pretty big hole to get this ball through here. And I'm gonna show you what that cut looks like because I already cut it. So it's gonna look like this, guys. And uh, once you're done with that, this is gonna be your, your basketball hoop, your pumpkin hoop. This is gonna end up going right here just like this. And um, and I'm gonna I'm demonstrate how to do that now. The first thing you wanna do with your hoop before you place it on your board is you wanna take the handle, line it up with your rim of your bucket, and then you wanna tape the sides really good with clear tape, just like that. Put that down there. And do the same for the other side. To get the back piece onto here, we're gonna use hot glue. And you just wanna layer it out evenly all over the back part. You wanna use a whole bunch of this as, so it's oozing because you don't want it to fall. So the first time you get it right, the better. So I suggest you put a lot of it. So this one's almost about done. You wanna put that around the middle, I'm gonna kind of press down on it so it can glue on there. And there's gonna be a little gap, guys, but don't worry about that. You could just add more glue to the corners of the handle. This is a finished product here, guys. What I did was I put plenty of glue, as you can see here, so it'll stay in place. I put a little bit of color into the backboard so, it could, so you can target this area, it could bounce off and make an easy shot. Just like a real basketball game. Then the next and final step would be to hang your, uh, your pumpkin ball game wherever you want in the house or outside. Just like that. Once you've already done this, now you could just take your ball and have a game of one-on-one -on -one with one of your friends, your family members, your party guests, whoever, whoever is gonna play this game. I'm just gonna shoot a couple of times just so you can see how it's gonna work. Okay, so I missed really bad at that time. Oh, that time I almost made it. All right guys, so that was five ideas that you guys could do at home for games, for Halloween games, and you have a lot of fun doing them. Just like this pumpkin ball here, that spider hole there, the witch toss over there. I'm sure you guys will have a lot of fun doing it, just like I did. That wraps this video up, guys. This is Sin Fatal from Cynix TV. I hope you liked this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. We'll be putting out a whole bunch more of that fire for you guys. And have a very fun and safe Halloween. Chill, boy. Yeah.